this is the first message I have for you, dear friends of the Iranian opposition, that very soon, with your tireless efforts, that dawn of freedom will finally rise over your country too. Dear friends, your efforts and your struggle is commendable because you are working hard to realize the Iranian people's desires which to live in freedom and democracy. I have been following your cause for many years and I know that the people of Iran are more determined than ever to continue the struggle for, for freedom. The Iranian people have struggled for freedom against both the Shah's dictatorship and that of these present regimes. But in the end, it is always the will and force of a nation that will prevail. During the ongoing and unstoppable protests in Iran right now, the people of Iran demonstrate their determination for change. The advancements of the resistance network inside Iran is important. We hear and follow the activities, activities as they have expanded throughout all of Iran. This shows that the people of Iran and the resistance are countering the regime's suppression and the regime has failed to put out the flames of freedom in Iran. The regime's regional strategy has hit a dead end. Corruption is widespread. The Iranian people realize that the suffering and poverty they face is because the mullahs have plundered Iran's wealth. The regime is using executions, high numbers of executions, to overshadow the public's outrage, as well as their regional and international failures. However, what is important is that there is hope despite all this darkness. There is a strong alternative in the National Council of Resistance of Iran that ensures Iran's transition from a theocracy to a democratic non-nuclear republic based on the separation of religion and state and gender equality. All of this is found in Mrs. Rajavi's 10-point plan for a free Iran, and we, at the European Parliament, support it. I speak today to the Iranian people so that they are inspired to know that the representatives of European nations and European parliamentarians hear their voice, and that we will continue to support your cause. Mrs. Rajavi, thank you, and please know that your people can count on me. Thank you.